Yes? We have a warrant for your arrest. Well, arrest for what? Wait, what's, what's going on here? For the murder of Shea Benson. What? Who? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. Marty, what is going on? Carrie, call my lawyer. Shea, call my lawyer. Marty! Ma'am, we also have a search warrant. I don't understand. Who is Shea Benson? Dirty? Well, that depends. How dirty do you want it? Inappropriate. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm sorry. I know you like it straight up anyway. You're so bad. Uh-oh. What do you do this time? Uh, don't ask. What? Uh, hey, guys, what does it take to get a drink around here? Uh, get in line. Yeah. Hey, Ash, I hear your dad's having a big birthday bash at his house. Oh, God. Please tell me it wasn't in the paper. Front page of the society section. Of course it is. I think Kyle's here the only one that actually reads the newspaper anymore. Oh, that's because you only have to read at a fifth grade level. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. So freaking tired. I stayed up till three studying last night. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I'll ask Lori to transfer the ticket. It's table 16, order's already in. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. historical studies paper was on that laptop. So it was everything I downloaded from the library. Maybe you can get an extension. Do you know how much is this gonna cost me? <laughs> I have to pay for a new window. I have to buy a new laptop. Insurance won't cover it. All I have is liability. Babe, come here. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> 
Okay, Carl's turn. All right. I, let's see, got a speeding ticket on Thursday, pulled the muscle lifting weights, and uh, locked myself out of the apartment. <laughs> the manager made me wait three hours before coming to unlock it because she's a vindictive bitch. Mm, yeah, but a speeding ticket isn't going to cost as much as a laptop. That's true. You take it. <sighs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Oh, oh, I didn't even mention that I bounced my rent check last week, and they're making me pay the money order from now on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK, OK, OK. I'm going to ask the obvious. Oh, don't do it, man. Look, I know you hate him, but why don't you just borrow from your dad? I don't hate my dad. I'm just ugh, sick of how controlling he is. He knows it's best for everyone, and if he gives me money, he thinks it's permission to run my life. Jeez, is it really that bad? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry I asked. Gary's turn. Uh, all right. Well, I actually think I can beat you. Really? Please, go for it. My friend Frank, um, I think I might have mentioned him once before. Yeah, uh, the guy you lived with since your divorce, right? Yeah. He got killed in a car accident last week. I went to his funeral yesterday. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I didn't tell anyone, I guess. Anyway, I've been helping his family clear out his house, trying to figure out a place to live. So what are you going to do? I don't know, but I better figure it out soon, or else I'll be living in my car. This sucks. You know, you could stay with me at my place for a little while. I mean, if you want, the sofa pulls out. I mean, it's not ideal, but at least until you find someplace better. Really? I mean, I don't want to pitch you out, but I mean, I could chip in for rent. Oh, well, you don't have to, but if you did, it would help me out a lot, especially now that my car's a mess. And you know what? You could even borrow my laptop until you get a new one. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, and I stay over at Matt's place a lot of the time anyway, so you'd have the place to yourself. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Let's celebrate. To bad situations leading to good ones. Uh, All right. Nice. <laughs> Cheers. 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 You are amazing. You know that? <laughs> Her taste of music sucks. Yeah, but our taste in roommates doesn't. You pulled it off. I told you I would. I move in the day after tomorrow. <laughs> she invites you to her daddy's bash? No, no, I'd even go there. I'll have plenty of opportunity when we're living under the same roof. So did you find anything useful on there? A few emails from Ashley's dad. Doesn't like her living down, too. He says it's too dangerous. <laughs> he should see the neighborhood where we grew up. No kidding. They wanted to have dinner with her last week at Suzumi. She said no. Suzumi? Mm, very nice. Mm. Emails between them for the last six months. Perfect. Go do your homework. I'm sick of driving that damn cab. Trust me. Is it okay if I use the bottom drawer? Yeah. Just move my stuff to the top. Oh, thanks. That's perfect. How do I look? Oh. Wow, you look terrific. <laughs> really? Yes. Thanks. I'm sure my dad will have something to say about the fact I colored my hair. He hasn't seen it yet. Oh, it looks great. He'll love it. I don't think so. But you know what? I don't even care. Thank God for Matt. He's the perfect buffer when dad starts dictating. 
What'd you get him? Oh, it's this painting Matt did of a seascape. It's really good. Oh, your dad likes the ocean? Well, the new hotel he's building in Jersey is right on the water. I don't know, it's kind of hard to buy for someone who has everything. Yeah, I love it. I'll go and have fun, and whatever he says, just, just let it roll off. It's his birthday. You're right. Thanks, Carrie. Dances. No. Oh, look, it's the man of the hour. Sweetheart, oh. Hi, Dad. Oh, you changed your hair. I, I needed a change. Well, that it is. <laughs> well, that's the good thing about hair, except for mine, which seems to be getting thinner every year. <laughs> you haven't aged in a decade. Paula. Hi, sweetie. <sighs> You know, when your father said you turned into a beautiful young woman, he wasn't lying. Oh, thanks. Oh, um, this is my boyfriend, Matt. This is Paula Wickless, my dad's ex. Um. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Matt. It's nice to meet you. So, did you just come for the party? Actually, Paula's moved back into town. Well, almost. I still have to sell my place in Atlanta. But yes, I quit my job, and I got a new one with a company here, so. Here I am. She needs a better real estate agent, but I told her about Travis. Uh, have a glass of wine. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no not the white, the, the red. You're going to like that much better. <laughs> you know, can I get a beer? Easy there, champ. The night's still young. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, look, isn't that Lee Mackey? I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm going to say hi. You know, try the appetizers, but stay away from the salmon. <laughs> Can't have you sick. Of course, I won't eat the salmon. What am I, an idiot? Come on. Let's go try the salmon. <laughs> Thank you for being here. It means a lot to me to have you all here for my 40th birthday. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, 50th birthday, but I feel like I'm 25. If I only knew then what I know now. <laughs> I'll bet he thought he did. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all enjoy yourselves tonight. So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thank you. Where's Matt? Oh, he went to get us some cake. Good, you know, um, come on out here. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Who? Well, it's the son of a client of mine. He just graduated from Harvard. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm here with Matt. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just an introduction. I mean, you should be with somebody who has a future, someone who's on your own level. What is that supposed to mean? Don't take it wrong. I just want what's best for you. And of course, you would know what that is. I'm your father. I think I do. Well, you don't, OK? Dad, I don't know how many times I have to tell you I love Matt. And that's not going to change. Ashley, I know that you think you have it all figured out. But sometimes I think that you make decisions because you have something to prove. <laughs> something to prove? Yes, like this ridiculous decision that you need to pay for everything yourself. 
You risk your safety in a crime-ridden neighborhood rather than live at home? This is exactly why I can't live under the same roof with you. I'm not doing this tonight. I need to leave. I was only gone for 10 minutes. Well, that was nine minutes too long. Let's go. My dad actually tried to set me up with some guy while Matt was out of the room. Why does your dad dislike him so much? All my dad can see is that Matt's a starving artist. He thinks he'll be a bartender forever. But Matt's so talented. I know. If he weren't taking care of his brother and working doubles all the time, he'd have more time to paint. What happened to Matt's brother? He never really talks about it. Ethan? Yeah, he used to be a police officer. Uh, nine months ago, he got into a motorcycle accident that left him in a wheelchair. Oh, how awful. Yeah, the doctors say he'll walk again, but the recovery has been long. Ethan got really depressed, so Matt moved in with him. They're really close. Anyway, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Night. Allergies, fish, and shellfish. You know where to find it? Yeah, it's no problem. So can you get it for me? How soon? Today. We just gotta make a call. Let me know when you have it. All right. I gotta go. Cut suit on. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, this is going to sound weird, but can I get a container of shatsua? The fish sauce? Uh, yeah, to go with. Yeah, of course. I got it. Whoa, it looks real. It is real. It's just filled with water, that's all. I better have a real one on hand, though. Could go horribly wrong. I will. Don't stress. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey. Hey. Ugh, that was the longest day ever. And it's about to get worse. It's my turn to take late tables tonight. Well, do you want me to take your shift for you? Uh, that's okay. I actually need the money. I'm gonna wash up. So, uh, did you
you get your paper done? Yeah, it actually took me two hours to redo what I lost on my laptop. But I think version two is actually better than the first one. Well, that's good then, huh? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, if you're trying to be all positive and stuff. Oh, at least you don't have to stress about it anymore. I know. You want some of this? Um, sure. Yeah, I'll have a bite. Ah, oh, thanks. Did you work the lunch shift? Yeah, I was slow. Mm. Mm. Is Matt working? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm so tired. I bet. Mm. Mm. This tastes kind of weird. Really? That tastes okay to me. Oh, my God. What? My throat. <laughs> I'm allergic. Oh my God. It's not helping. Oh, I'll call an ambulance. 911? Uh, yes, I need an ambulance. What's your emergency? Uh, I think my roommate's going into anaphylactic shock. I'll send paramedics. Where are you located? This isn't Ashley, it's her roommate, Carrie. Roommate? Uh, yeah, I'll explain it later, but Ashley's in the ER. What happened? Allergic reaction. Mr. Dunfield? Yes? I'm Carrie. How's Ashley? She's okay. They gave her epinephrine in time, so she's over here. God, you're okay. I'm fine, Dad. I didn't know Carrie was gonna call you. Of course she didn't. You're riding to the hospital in the back of an ambulance. Well, I'll leave you two alone. And by the way, I couldn't get a hold of Matt, so I just left him a message. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. <sighs> what happened? I don't know. I've eaten at this Mexican place near campus like a hundred times. There must have been cross-contamination. I've told you to stay away from those cheap hole-in-the-wall places. So you have a roommate? Carrie, yeah. It's just temporary. She needed a place to stay. She's a little older than you, huh? 35, I think. We work at the same restaurant together. I want to thank you for calling me, but more importantly, for basically saving my daughter's life. I'm just glad I was there when it happened. You and me both. So Ashley tells me you two work together. Yeah. Yeah, I've been a server for about three months. Prior to that, I helped my ex-husband out with his business. But what I really want to do is open my own restaurant someday. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm quite the cook. Famous for my roast lamb. <laughs> household name. I can't believe I've never heard of you before. Oh, that's because I'm only famous west of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Would uh, you and Ashley like to come to dinner sometime? It's the least I could do after what you did today. I'd love that. Well, y you might have to talk Ashley into it. <sighs> I think I can do that. You said we'd go? He wants to thank me for calling the ambulance. What was I supposed to say? Uh, say no. Tell him to send us a gift basket or something instead. Uh, Ashley. No, seriously. He'll spend the whole evening telling me all of the mistakes I'm making in life. No, not if I'm there. He'll work in some little dig about Matt, though. That I can promise.
Have you ever thought maybe you're going about this all wrong? What do you mean? Well, the situation with Matt and your dad. I mean, you eventually want him to like Matt, don't you? Of course. Well, how's that supposed to happen if you keep refusing him? Magically? No, I'm serious. By refusing, you choose Matt over your dad. That's not gonna bring anyone closer. Well, neither is dinner, trust me. Not true. Your dad won't insult your boyfriend in front of me, and if he does, I'll shut him down. How? By telling him how great Matt is, and it'll be coming from me, not you. Okay. But lunch, dinner takes too long. All right, lunch it is. <laughs> Hi, yes. Uh, this is Cheryl. I work for Mr. Richard Dunfield. Hi, how can I help you? Yes, he won a few cases of wine from your organization last year, and he can't remember what it was. He'd like to buy some more. Can you tell me what kind it was? Oh, it was a Cloville Shiraz. Cloville Shiraz. I love this wine. Really? It's such a small winery. I'm surprised you've heard of it. Oh, I know a lot about wine. I'm going to open it up. Ashley, why don't you carry the tour? Sure. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, this is my dad's den. Magic happens here, huh? Yeah, something like that. And this is the home theater. Sometimes my dad gets movies before they're released, so I used to invite my friends over and we'd watch them in here. Dad's room. <sighs> wow. This is gorgeous. Yeah. It wasn't like this when I was here. He likes to redecorate every few years. So Carrie, what's it like to be Ashley's roommate? It must be kind of cramped in that one bedroom. Well, we seem to manage, Dad. Actually, it's been really great. You have no idea how much I appreciate her letting me move in. It's been a rough year. I lost a friend recently and I'm still tying up loose ends after my divorce. Uh, is this an original Zhang? <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, how'd you know? Uh, are you kidding? I love Zhang. He's one of my favorites. Well, I went to one of his shows about three years ago. His work hangs in every one of my hotels. Wow, you must have made his year. He deserves it. He's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's very compelling. You know, this proves the point I was making to Matt. You know, when we're all sitting around talking about how difficult it is to be an artist. All it takes is one person to fall in love with your work, and boom, your career is on its way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Have you seen her boyfriend's work? Oh, yes, I have. He's amazing. So do you have any more from this collection? Well, in my study. Would you like to see it? Absolutely. All right, come on. Ash? Oh, no, that's OK. I've already seen it. Hey, babe, what's up? Still at Daddy Warbucks' house? Yeah, but it's actually going pretty well. I think I'm going to bring Carrie to every father-daughter lunch. Yeah? She's sneaky. In a good way, though. Talking to my dad about one of his paintings, she actually worked in a little compliment about you, too. No way. That's cool. I wish you were here, though. No, you wish we were both far away from your dad, somewhere on a beach in Fiji. That's true. Maybe spring break. Oh, hey, I got to go. I'll talk to you later, OK? OK, later. How do you know so much about art? Uh, my ex-husband got me into it. We went to the Louvre while on our honeymoon, and I was hooked. How long have you been divorced? Is that too personal to ask? No, no, not at all. Um, we filed in June of last year, and it was final about five months ago. You filed? He filed? I did. 
We were married for five years, but I never should have married him. He did some pretty awful things. <laughs> what kind of things? Well, he spent all our money, and he had an affair. I'm sorry. Well, you know what Nietzsche says. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I know there's an amazing life out there for me with an amazing man, and now I'll just appreciate him that much more. Guys, time to eat. After you. If you excuse me for a moment, I am going to use the restroom. Oh, it's down the hall on your left. She's terrific. I really like her. Yeah, at first I thought it might be weird because she's so much older, but now she's kind of like a sister. It actually makes me feel better to know that you two are sharing an apartment. How's your car running? I heard you were having trouble with it. It's okay right now. You really need a new one. You know, Lori's daughter is going to sell her BMW. I'm going to tell her you're interested. <laughs> but I'm not interested. I will pay for it. Honey, you really need a reliable car. Dad, just let me deal with my own car situation, okay? <clears throat> Miss me? <laughs> yes. We thought you'd gotten lost. Oh, it's not hard to do in this house. <laughs> Ooh, cake. Chocolate's my weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for lunch. You too. Thanks for the wine. All right, drive carefully. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Bye. Oh, is that Paula? Yeah. Hey. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hi. Paula, this is Ashley's roommate, Carrie. Oh, nice to meet you. Likewise. Well. Paula's gonna drag me out to look at some countertops. You didn't resist too much. No, I guess I didn't. Well, we will let you guys get going. Good luck finding counters. Oh, thanks. Safe driving. Thank you. Come on in. I gotta oh. grab my coat. Is that your dad's girlfriend? Oh, no, his ex. They dated for a year, and then she took a job in Atlanta. She seems pretty in, Mom. Yeah, she is. I think my dad's skeptical about starting over with her. She can be pretty flighty. I like her, though. I think they actually make a good couple. Yes, I'd like to purchase one ticket to tomorrow's performance of Evita. Certainly. Mezzanine all right? Yes, the mezzanine would be great. Take a white wine, please. Carrie? Oh my gosh! Hi! Hi! Uh, I didn't think I'd see you here. Are you here with friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I bring a girlfriend of mine here every year for a birthday. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, nine dollars, uh, please. Here, let me get that for oh, you. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Something smells good in here. Don't worry, I'm making enough for everyone. Thanks. How you feeling? I'm OK. 
you know. It was scary when it was happening. You know, if that was a bad syringe, you should sue them. Yeah, and that's what my dad said too, but Carrie brought it to the hospital and it somehow got misplaced, so there's no proof. Anyway, I don't even want to deal with a lawsuit. I'm just happy to be alive. You should have seen how stressed he was when he got Carrie's message. Aw. Ash, you know I would have made it if my phone didn't die. Thought I wasn't gonna make it, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Well, I'll get a room. That reminds me, I'm, I just saw that there's a wine tasting event next week at the wine house, and that's where I bought the wine that I brought to your house. That's funny, I've actually got tickets for it already. You do? Yeah, I go every year. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So you're going? Oh, no. Those kinds of luxuries got cut out of my budget after I got my divorce. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, there's always next year. Uh, well, I better go find my seats. You know, Carrie, I have an extra ticket if you'd like to come with me. Yeah, I'd love that. Okay, well, I'll have to meet you there. I've got a late meeting. Oh, that's no problem. Terrific. I'll see you then. Great, I'll look forward to it. Okay. <laughs> Carrie, right? I'm sorry, I forgot your name. It's Paula. Oh. It's funny how we keep bumping into each other. Yeah. Small world, I guess. Hmm. So if he likes his Paula, why invite you to this wine thing? I'm telling you, this bitch could ruin everything. Not if you do your job right. They have history, Anna. It's hard to compete with. So what are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. This is your problem. And you're gonna deal with it. What is this, a free ride? A free ride? Yeah. I'm the one that took all the risks so far. What risks? I had it planned perfectly. He was going to prison for life. I would manage the company better than he did and have access to millions to play with. Except he was broke. That's not even what I'm talking about. I'm the one that pulled the trigger. I'm the one. I know, but I'm the one who planned it all and got the key and gave you Marty's gun. I took risks, too. And the whole money thing, you know Marty was a complete liar. He even had me fooled. <sighs> Look, he said he had deals going that he never had. Occasionally, men lie. Or did you already forget all the BS Doug told you while you were in prison? I still can't believe you married that guy. This isn't about Doug. It's about you and Richard and getting me that money you promised. And I will get it, as long as Paula doesn't succeed in rekindling the past. Then we're both SOL. Come on. No. Not this time. Thanks, no problem. Gary, <laughs> Gary Remington. Do you remember me, Bill Gaffler? Oh yeah, of course. How are you? Hey, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I was shocked. I heard Marty been convicted. I didn't even know. Yeah, like, well, we're divorced now, so. Um, hey, I need to run these drinks out, but it was nice seeing you. Yeah, you too. Hey, stop by and chat when you got a second. Hey. You know Carrie? Not well. My ex-wife used to work for her husband's company. She's sweet. Bet you wish she never got mixed up with that guy. What do you mean? You don't know. Her husband, Marty, killed his mistress. What? He's doing life in prison. You've reached Ashley South. Leave a message. Ash, it's me. Give me a call when you get this message.
Hi. Hey. So, I guess Matt told you, huh? Listen, Ashley, I want to explain. When I met my ex-husband, Marty, I was 28. I had a string of bad relationships. And Marty swept me off my feet. He was sweet, caring, and ambitious. I thought he was a real stand-up guy. Turns out, he was always a conniving, deceitful liar. We'd only been married a year when he had his first affair. I, I pretended not to know, hoping it would end, I guess. Finally, he got involved with a prostitute. They got into a fight. He shot her, and that's when it all came crashing down. Mary, I'm so sorry. That must have been devastating. Everything in my life changed. I couldn't even stay in the house. There was no money for anything. How could have I been with someone so worthless? Anyway, it was then I learned I had no one to rely on but myself. And your friends, like me and Matt and Kyle. Oh, all you guys are so great. Carrie, I don't want you to ever feel like you are alone. You have so many people in your life that care about you. Ashley, you're such an amazing friend. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of weird. She obviously didn't know her husband that well. Well, some people are just good at lying. I guess, or maybe she didn't see what was right in front of her face. Yeah, you'd be surprised, bro. A lot of people have weird things in their pasts. Yeah, but Ashley's her roommate. I just feel like she should have told you. Well, it's hard for her to talk about. I'm sure she would have told me eventually. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Ethan. Bye. I still think it's kind of weird. where she lives. She's got a little trip planned to Atlanta. That's perfect. Hi, honey. Hey, Dad. Listen, your scholarship papers came in the mail yesterday. It looks like there's some stuff you need to sign. You opened it? Well, I did. I thought it might be important. I was right. You need to release your grades, or they won't send the funds for next semester. I know that. I'll take care of it. Well, I could meet you for lunch. I could give it to you then. Oh, uh, I can't today. Um, I'll stop by this weekend. Can you just leave the envelope on the foyer table? All right, well, listen, the sooner the better. This stuff's important. I know it is. I'll get it done, Dad. All right. Oh, listen, there's one more thing. I called the mechanic. He said you still didn't take your car to the shop. I know, Dad. I'll take care of that, too. Oh, hey, I got to go. Class is starting. Bye. All right, bye. <sighs> Officer Ethan Wilson for Detective Yancey. Hold, please. Detective Yancey. Craig, it's Ethan. Hey, how you doing? You better? It's slow, but I'm getting there. Hey, listen, I wanted to ask you about a murder case, Martin Remington. Oh, yeah? He killed a prostitute about a year ago called Shay Benson. Yeah, yeah, Joe worked that case. Uh, can you hang on while I find him? Yeah, thanks, buddy. OK. So, did you get a chance to look at those design concepts I sent over? I did. Minimalism is perfect. I love the lighting designs, especially. Well, you said you wanted modernism. <laughs> Absolutely. Less is more. Hmm. Now, is that uh, very pale, sparkling wine, or are you drinking water at a wine tasting? Yes. Actually, uh, John got the tickets before I found out that I'm... Uh... Uh, you're what? 
five months, and it's a little boy. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thanks. Have you got a name picked up? Not yet. We haven't found one that we can both agree on. Well, is there anything wrong with Richard? No. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> That's terrific. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Renee, can you excuse me for a minute? Uh, a friend of mine has just arrived. Sure, of course. We'll talk Monday. Great. Okay. Bye. You look amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Just imagine how I'll look after a few bottles of wine. <laughs> I'll get even funnier, too. You do just fine on your own. Here, uh, try this wine. It's terrific. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. I was already in the area. Oh, great. Um, domestic flights, Terminal 2? Not a problem. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think we tried this one already. She just opened the bottle. Oh, they're all starting to taste alike. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second sign that you've had too much to drink. Oh, really? And what's the first? <laughs> Laughing at everything. That you are done too. <laughs> mm. What do you say we take our party someplace that has a little more food and a little less wine? Well, what do you have in mind? Well, I know this amazing Japanese place that has the best sashimi this side of the International Daily. Sounds great. Where is it? <laughs> Washington Boulevard. It's called Suzumi. You're kidding me. It's my favorite restaurant. We can get a table there. Really? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> okay. This way to the airport before. It's quicker with the construction. What the hell is going on? Get out. Are you robbing me? No. Just take whatever you want. Why? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> you look incredible. Mm. Mm, I'm sorry. Somebody's texting me. Is that important? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> Good, because I'm enjoying getting to know you better. <laughs> oh, Richard, I think I should tell you something. I think I should tell you why I got a divorce. My ex-husband is Marty Remington. Marty? Marty Remington, the guy that Killed that prostitute last year? I went back to my maiden name for obvious reasons. <laughs> and anyway, that's that's kind of why I'm in the situation I am in financially. I had no idea until after he was convicted that he had squandered every penny we had. Just like the affair with the woman he murdered, he had kept it all a secret. Oh, Carrie, I'm so sorry. I mean... It was hard to make sense of it all at first. You know, now I realize when he went to prison, it was like a door opened and I was free. Oh, I can't imagine what that one must have been like. You've done such a great job putting your life back together. Yeah. Well, you know, you do what you have to do. Anyway, that's, that's why I started working at the restaurant. And of course, I met your daughter, who is an incredible young woman. And then, 
You met me. <laughs> and then I met you. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Okay, see you soon. Yeah. Bye. All right, bye. Brought you a burger. Oh, thanks. Starving. Oh, hey, Ash. That was a friend of mine from Homicide, Craig Yancey. His current partner worked on the Shea Benson murder. Really? What did he say? Said that Marty had a pretty good defense attorney. The guy argued that Shea had all kinds of enemies that could have killed her. And again, he's pretty sketchy himself. Why do you say that? Mm, he had a factoring company. What's that? They buy bad debt and collect on it. It's basically one step above loan sharking, except it's illegal. They had enough to convict him, though. That yeah, was a pretty open and shut case. I mean, OK, they found the gun in his car. Shay's neighbors heard them fighting the day she died, and they had a key to her place. Did your friend say anything about Carrie, specifically? She testified on his behalf. She said she didn't believe he did it and had no idea he was having an affair. She said that? No. That doesn't make any sense. She told me Marty had affairs like a year into their marriage. She knew about them. Maybe she lied so he wouldn't be convicted. Well, I don't know. She seemed pretty glad he's in prison. Well, she's had time to process it, right? Yeah, maybe. Did he say anything else? Mm, not really. Well, just that Marty's brother hated Carrie. <laughs> he made some pretty nasty statements about her. Really? Till 11, right? I know, but my dad has some scholarship paperwork at his house that I have to pick up. See you later. Well, I was thinking that maybe we'd go to the country club for breakfast, unless you've got something better to do. <laughs> Entire day is free, but I don't have any clothes. Check mm. Ashley's <laughs> room. She's still got some clothes in the closet. If Ashley asked me where I was listening, what do you want me to say? I suppose I should be the one to tell her. I honestly don't know how she'll take it. Lately, no matter what I do, she seems to be angry with me. Ashley just wants your approval, that's all. It's hard on her when she doesn't get it. She told you I don't approve of Matt, didn't she? <laughs> just don't want her to struggle the way that I did. What I have now, it took years to build. But there were some times that were really tough. I don't want that for her. That's a good kid. 
doesn't have money, but I'm, he'd do anything for your daughter. Ashley? What are you doing here? Oh, um, <laughs> your dad invited me to wine tasting last night, and we had a little bit too much to drink, so I... You slept here last night? Ashley? Did she stay here? Yes, she, she did. I, I can explain. I thought you were my friend. I am. So you sleep with my dad behind my back? No, I... And you slept in the guest room? You did sleep together. Can I talk to you privately? No, I don't want to hear it. Yes, you do. You need to talk, and you need to talk right now. How could you do this? I walk in here to see my roommate wearing my clothes, basking in the afterglow of screwing my dad. Ashley, it just happened. We were having a great time. We, we had a lot to drink. It was a lot of fun. Like I said, it just, just happened. I don't need to hear this right now. I Ashley. Really don't. I'll talk to her later. Thanks again for breakfast. Still worried about Ashley? Yeah. Don't, she'll come around. Okay. I'm gonna go over to the apartment and try to talk to her. Oh, well, she's at the restaurant till six, so. In a couple of days, I have to go to Jersey to check on a property that I'm building. It's in this really gorgeous area near the shore. Would you like to come with me? Be nice to go with someone. Sounds perfect. <laughs> you better go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. <sighs> you better have good news. I'm going away with him to Jersey for a few days. So how long till you move in? Well, if everything goes well on this trip. Very soon. Good. There you go. Enjoy. Dad, what are you doing here? I want to talk to you. I'm working. Five minutes. That's all. Fine. Carrie thinks the world of you, honey. Even this morning, she was telling me what a great person you are and how much you care about Matt. She'd never do anything to hurt you, and neither would I. Dad, you don't know anything about her. Her ex-husband? As a murderer, she told me. She told you? Yes, last night, the whole thing. Honey, I like her. I want to keep seeing her. <laughs> I thought you liked Paula. Well, I think that Paula's more interested in me than I'm interested in her. But Carrie's smart and fun, and she's a straight shooter. And I think you know that, or you wouldn't be roommates with her. I have to get back yeah, to her. Wait, wait, wait a minute, please. No, Dad, look, if you want me to tell you I'm happy you're dating my roommate, it's not going to happen. I feel so betrayed by both of them right now. I told you she has issues. I mean, I agree, this sucks. But you can't change that your dad's attracted to her. I mean, from what Matt says, she's pretty hot. 
I realize that, and if I don't want my dad telling me who to date, I can't do the same thing to him. Exactly. The whole thing is just weird. I feel now that maybe she just wanted to move in with me to get to know my dad. It makes sense. He's loaded, she's not. At least not now, anyway. You know, Marty's brother said the same thing about her. Really? Yeah, he figures she only married him for his money. Do you remember his name? Marty's brother? Ashley, wait. I wanted to talk to you about what happened at your dad's. It's fine, really. No, I, I didn't want to upset you. I think we should just sit down and... Are you going somewhere? Yeah. Your dad invited me to go with him to Cape May. <laughs> and take you to that romantic little hotel he always stays at? Well, I hope you two have a great time. Ashley... No, really, it's fine. You two can date whoever you want. I'm going to bed. Good night. She wanted to take over his business? She thought she was going to manage that company. Would love to have seen her face when she found out he had nothing left. Hey, uh, no water, so he's got to get moving, eh? You got it. Sorry about that. Um, other thing, have you met any of her shady friends? Shady friends? No. Well, I should say friend. One in particular, Anna. Best friend since they were just kids. What was so sketchy about Anna? What was so sketchy about her? Uh, well, for one, she was arrested for robbery. Spent time in prison. I don't know, just didn't like her. You know, birds of a feather and all that. What about her friend Frank, who died? Did you know him? Frank? No, I don't think I ever met him. Ash, table 23 needs a cider dressing. You want me to get it for you? So, uh, I'll see you when I get back in a couple days. Have fun.
I got you a little something. I hope you like it. Ooh, what? You said chocolate was your weakness. Oh. Trying to make me weak, huh? Do I need chocolate to do that? Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I feel my strength slipping away. Can I help you? Oh, um, my my friend Carrie lives here. I was just trying to see if she's home. Oh, you're one of Carrie's friends. Well, she left a couple weeks ago. Just Anna living there now. Anna? Yeah, Anna. You never met her? No. Um, was there a guy named Frank living here? Anna's got men that go in and out of there quite a bit. Not sure if there was a Frank or not, but they don't stay long. I see. Um, well, thank you. Thanks a lot. There you go, man. All right. I don't think there ever was a Frank. She was living with her friend Anna, and Carrie owns the house. Yeah, but why would Carrie lie about that? I don't know. Oh, but Anna has a criminal past. Marty's brother told me that they've been best friends since they were kids. And after Anna got out of prison, she stayed with Carrie and Marty for a few months. That's weird. I know. I, I don't think she mentioned Anna to me even once. Well, have you talked to the Santa girl? No, she wasn't home. Oh, Roland said no one would hire Anna after she got out of prison, so she leached off of Carrie and Marty until she got a job driving a cab. Hey, isn't your dad with Carrie right now in Cape May? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like a whole bunch of weirdness surrounds Carrie. Well, look, why don't you confront her when she gets back? Yeah, maybe. Mm. You're really beautiful. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's just the candlelight. Candles or no candles, you're one of the sexiest, most alluring women I've ever met. You bring out the best in me. Mm-hmm. Did you see what they wrote about the Eagles versus Vikings game? <laughs> I don't read the newspaper, Kyle. That's why you're uninformed. People she was gonna call a cab to take her to the airport, but never checked in? Yeah. You don't think? Think what? That Carrie could have had something to do with this? How would she even know Paula? They met. They met when we went to my dad's house for lunch. You know, I think, I think I'm just gonna call my dad. I have a really bad feeling about this. Don't 
you ruin this for me. You reach Richard Dunfield. Please leave a message after the meeting. Dad, it's me. Um, listen, I need to talk to you right away about Paula. And there's stuff I need to tell you about Carrie. Please call me as soon as you get this, okay? Thanks. So? No answer. Well, you can meet me there in his hotel room. I know what hotel they're at. I'm just gonna look up the number. Got it. straight to voicemail. You know, I think I'm gonna drive out there. It's not that far. Tonight? Matt, I have to. I'm really worried, okay? Can you just watch my tables? Just, okay, babe, hold on. Just let me finish up and I'll come with you, okay? Matt, do you see how many people are here? You're gonna be here for two hours at least. Please, can you just do this for me? I promise I'll call you as soon as I get there. Gosh. Matt, do you really wanna see my dad? Okay, go. But be careful and text me as soon as you get there, okay? I will, I promise. I love you. Nice. Champagne. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Come with me. Looks like you got a coolant leak there. Yeah? Yeah. See you here? It's coming from your radiator. Uh, can I still drive it? No, no, you can't. You'll wreck it. You best leave it here tonight. I need to get to Cape May. That's a long stretch of desolate road. It's up to you, but I'd leave the car here tonight. I can get a part for you by tomorrow. Uh, okay, just give me a second, okay? Take your time. Chateau Panorama Hotel, how may I help you? Hi, Richard Dunfield's room again, please? One moment. You've reached room 204, 
reached room 204, leave a message after the beep. Dad, it's Ashley. I've been trying to call your cell, but there's no answer. Listen, I need you to call me right away. My car broke down on the way to Cape May, and I'm at Veldo's gas station right off the interstate. Please, just call me. Damn it. You. Hi, uh, this is Ashley Dunfield calling. Uh, my dad, Richard Dunfield, is staying there. Uh, he's not answering his cell phone, and I need to get an urgent message to him. Could you send someone up to the room? Sure, Miss Dunfield. What's the message? Uh, please have him call my cell right away. No problem. I'll let him know. Thanks. I was just about to come up to your room. Ashley called. She needs her father to call her cell phone right away. She said it's urgent. Oh. Oh, yeah, he already knows. He's going to call her. Gotta close up. My wife's been sick and needs me to get home or I'd give you a ride. Oh, that's okay. I uh, got the number for a cab company here. Want me to call him for you right quick? Oh, no. Thank you, though. You know what? If my dad's not here in 15 minutes, I'll give him a call. All right. Well, I'll uh, call you tomorrow with the estimate. I appreciate it. to drink and passed out, so when I got your message, you were stranded, I hopped in the car and drove out here. I just didn't want him to drive himself or you in that condition. Get in. What's wrong? I'll drive you back to the hotel. Why wasn't he answering his cell phone tonight? Oh, he turned it off so we could have a quiet evening. Ashley, what's wrong? You're acting really weird. I'm not getting in the car with you. What? Why not? I talked to Marty's brother. So? So? I know you lied to me, Carrie. You didn't go live with some guy named Frank. You own a house. 
Ashley, you're not making any sense right now. I never lied to you. I was living with Frank, and I assume you're talking about the house on Wesley Street? It belongs to a friend of mine who put it in my name. Your friend Anna? The one who was in prison? Yes. She couldn't get it on her own because of her credit, so I told her I'd get the loan for her. Look, I don't know what Roland told you, but he hates me, and he loves to stir up trouble. No, it's cold and it's dark out here. Let's just get in the car and I'll explain it everything in detail. Please, you can ask me anything you want. You know what I think, Carrie? What? I think you became friends with me to get close to my dad. No, I didn't. Why would I do that? You're after his money. That's insane. And that's something Roland would say. Look, I care about you and your father, and I'm not a bad person. Ashley, I am falling for your dad. He is a terrific guy, and I deserve that. I deserve someone who treats me well and doesn't lie to me. But you lied when you told me you had no place to live. No, I didn't. I already explained that. Why won't you believe me? Because you had a place with Anna. Why can't you just appreciate everything I've done for you? I've done so much. I practically saved your life when you accidentally ate that fish sauce. You said it yourself. If it weren't for me, you could have died. Fish sauce? How do you know what made me sick? I don't know. <laughs> God, fish sauce, shrimp, or whatever. The point is, I've been a really good friend to you. <laughs> Ashley, oh, please, just trust me. Let's just drive back to the hotel, and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Who are you calling? I'm calling the hotel. I want them to go wake up my dad. Don't. Please, listen to me. You said listen to me. You're crazy. Don't ever say that, you ungrateful, rich, little bitch. <sighs> You don't even realize what you have, the way you treat your father. I would give anything to have a tenth of what you have. I had nothing growing up. You have no idea what it's like to be so poor you have nothing, to wear the same shoes year after year even though they're too small, to eat your lunch in the bathroom because you're too embarrassed the other kids will see all you packed was some crackers and a few little squares of government cheese. Carrie, calm down. No! No, I'm not gonna calm down. Your father will buy you a new phone. Why? Because he's a great guy. The kind of guy I've been waiting for my whole life. You don't care about him. All you do is complain about how he's controlling. Carrie, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not. You don't care about me either. You're trying to destroy everything I want. I hate you. You're no different than those rich, stuck-up bitches I went to school with. They all thought they were better than me and Anna. But they weren't. And neither are you.
tried to stab me. She's lying. She called me out here and then attacked me. Miss, are you okay? She tried to stab me with a bottle. She threw it when you got here. She doesn't know what she's talking about. The girl is obviously crazy. Miss, you're gonna have to come with me. talking until my lawyer gets here. Okay. Are you sure it was Paula? I'm sorry, Dad. You two are good to go. She won't talk to us without a lawyer, so we're gonna go ahead and charge her with assault and battery on your daughter. Thanks. Really get that scrape on your hand looked at. Oh, uh, really, it's fine. I'm sorry, honey. Sorry any of this happened. It's not your fault. You sure you don't want to go to the ER? Dad, I'm fine. You're right. It's your decision. Thank you. Right now, I just, I really want to talk to Matt. I'll tell you what, can we call him from the car? I've had enough of police stations for a day. So we are charging her with conspiracy to commit murder and a whole host of other things, thanks to you. We were also able to trace the last cab that Paula Wickless got into back to Anna Prieta. Given all the new information, the DA is going to move to have Marty Remington's conviction overturned. Sure, he'll be happy to hear that. Well, good luck to both of you. Thanks. Thank you, Lieutenant. Oh, and Ashley, uh, you might want to consider living alone for a while. Good advice. <laughs> No, 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 you can't open your gifts early. What are you gonna have to look forward to? Yeah. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> How are you two? Um, good, <laughs> good. Go ahead, open it up. See? I thought you two might want to get away for spring break, so I booked you a suite at the Snow Peak Lodge. The one I just finished yeah, renovating. Seriously? Dad, thank you so much. That's amazing. <laughs> and you, I hope you're not busy before then. Why is that? Because I want you to fulfill an order for me. 17 paintings at my new hotel in Jersey. <laughs> Are you serious? And you better give me a good deal because we're almost family. <laughs> yeah, I think we can work something out. Dad. No. No, not at all. Happy birthday.